Hey, I'm glad you're back with me uh, today as we think about how to maintain a strong connection to Jesus. Uh, isn't that what's critical? Um, I mean, all of us can have a, a momentary experience and what happens in a connection is what happens in a moment, but what happens for endurance is what I do moment by moment. What we need to remember in, in the moments where it's tough, where it's difficult to remember that Jesus loves us is his promise to never leave us. I love one of the parallel passages, one of the other passages in the Gospels about the post-resurrection experience with Jesus. Matthew records um, a very similar um, statement by Jesus at the very end of his chapter. He says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Now listen to this last little part. And surely I will be with you even to the very end of the age. The end of time as we know it, Jesus says, I will be with you. You see, that's a promise. It's a post-resurrection promise to the disciples, to us. For any follower of Christ, what we, we need to know and hold on to and meditate on in those moments where we doubt his presence is to meditate on his presence. Richard Rohr in one of his books reminds us that we can never attain the presence of God. We are already in the presence of God. What is absent is our awareness what I said in this week's sermon at Easter was their recognition of his presence. And so no matter what you're experiencing on the road you're on today, I want to invite you just to simply take a moment and hold on to and grasp the, the post-resurrection promise of Jesus to be with us to the end of time. Lord God, we thank you so much for loving us and for promising us to never leave us or forsake us. And so right now, Lord, we hold on to that. Lord, let that grip of that promise be stronger and greater than any, anything else. We love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being the resurrected Lord, for being the one that loves us enough to promise us you'll never leave us or forsake us. Amen. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take some time today and think about the passage in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Meditate on it. Maybe commit it to memory. The promise. Focus on that promise. He's going to be with us to the very end. See you tomorrow.